Hello guys, we are here with Tommy from band Amorphis. Hello Tommy, thank you for joining us. How was the show and how do you feel today? Oh, I'm feeling fine, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. And the uh, show was... I really liked it. It was uh, warm, not yeah. too hot. <laughs> and uh, people seemed to enjoy the show. I was a little bit worried about the clouds because yeah. it looks a little bit rainy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, luckily it wasn't raining at all, so it was beautiful. and. Uh, I really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, how, how does it feel to play on a sold out festival like this for the Czech audience, especially? Well, I'm really happy for the festival because uh, after COVID, I didn't know what to expect yeah. from the festivals yeah, in general. Cool. So, so far, it seems that uh, all the festivals we have played, they've been not sold out, but still, there, there's been lots of audience, yeah. which is great, of course, yeah, for the yeah, whole yeah. music business. Exactly. Uh, I know uh, you are a professional, but do you get nervous before the show? Well, I think it's good feeling to be nervous, yeah, yeah, yeah. to be honest. It's, it's good to feel a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> it makes you a little bit... Uh, not stronger, but you have to uh, focus more. Yeah. And uh, I usually do some exercises before yeah. the show just to get like your blood running and, and getting the right okay. emotion. Uh, I like uh, the feeling that you're not quite sure what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, so you are doing some voice uh, uh, warm up exercise or something like that? It's for my body. Yeah. yeah, of course I do something really light for my voice because the show is so hard for me, my voice so i'm not trying to uh spoil it before the show but uh i see it. it's 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 a part of the routine i do before i go to stage and it gives you more uh, self-confidence that you are doing the same things before the show like a routine so yeah. to speak album out called Halo. Yeah. Did you play something from it uh, today? Yeah, we played uh, maybe three three songs from, from the album. Yeah. We all only had like uh, an hour uh, set list, so it's really difficult to pick yeah. all the great yeah. songs, but uh, yeah. we are promoting still the latest album, so we took like yeah. three songs. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And how does the songwriting of process uh, looks like in Amorphis? Is this do you jam or is one idea from one member and he brings it to the band or how well, does it look like? Mostly it, it's that uh, some of the guys compose the whole song at home and they, they do like a simple demo and they, they send, send uh, the demo over to other guys and uh, when we have enough songs we gather to, uh, we gather together and we start to rehearse the songs and and, and uh, trying to uh, figure out how we're gonna do the final version of the song it's it's nice uh, I think the traditional way uh, compose is jamming yeah. and getting uh, new ideas or uh, things with on, on that way but uh, for us I think it works the best that we are doing like a whole song. And how often do you rehearse before the gigs? And do you often, only before when you change the songs or do you rehearse often? Um, we are not the most, <laughs> how to say, we, we rehearse of course, but the, during this uh, summer we don't rehearse at all because all the stuff is already somewhere else. We have a rehearsing place at Helsinki, but, but uh, we don't have the instruments there because we are touring all the time during the summer. And uh, we have also some uh, technical stuff. We have a like, light guy doing things which are uh, working together with our songs. So we, we cannot change the songs that much, you know, which is kind of boring. Yeah, it's kind of boring. But uh, if you want to keep the good, good quality on your shows, you have to do it that way. Do you prefer festivals or clubs? It's different. Well, it depends. Yeah. Of course, playing on festival, you get bigger crowds, and uh, especially if you are playing nighttime and and uh, it's dark and you see all the cool lights and, and the atmosphere is almost 
magical <laughs> in a way. So that, that's really nice feeling. But at the same time, on festivals, you always have a uh, really tight schedule. And uh, sometimes you, you might lose your instrument somewhere in the airport yeah. in, in the uh, other round of the world. So um, I think club shows are more intimate. So in, in that way, yeah. I like those. But um, I like both. And sometimes you have problem no matter if it's club or festival yeah yeah what kind of music do you enjoy and what was the last thing you listened to what the last thing was a black metal band I'm not into that much much black metal but I I've found from Facebook or somewhere uh, some uh, underground black metal band which was quite interesting and uh, I listen a lot metal and uh, I'm trying to be open-minded with, with genres and stuff but uh, The older I get, the more I listen metal. I don't know <laughs> what's wrong Same with, with me. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm open-minded. I, I listen some Finnish hip hop and and uh, like Massive Attack and stuff like that. Nick Cave and all, all kind of stuff. But uh, I just find myself almost every night listening some death metal. <laughs> Cannot help it. What do you like to do when you're not on the tour? Well, at this moment, I also have a day job because of the COVID. I, I had to go back to work and uh, I also do sports a lot. And that's my two things, two things that I, I do the most. What sports do you like to do? Well, mostly gym and boxing. Well, same with me. Okay. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and with some running. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. of course going to sauna and swimming to the oh, lake. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. nice. And when you're on tour, every day seems like same. You arrive to the area and how how do you enjoy this? And what do you do for fun when you're on tour? I like to take walks like around the city. Yeah. And uh, it, it's good to have fresh air and, and, and see how the cities look like and, and maybe meet some local people and just trying to forget the tour life yeah. and uh, if I have time I, I'm doing some sports also not during the festival season but when we are for example having a European tour we are doing some uh, sports with other guys also yeah. and we go to gyms and stuff like yeah. that it, it helps mentally a lot yeah, really I can yeah. approve yeah. <laughs> really when you're not on tour do, do you meet with guys from in pub or something like that Or do you, you well, actually, not that much because I'm not living in Helsinki. I, I live a little bit outside of Helsinki. Yeah. Um, if there is something special, of course, we meet and of course we play together when we have rehearsals. But uh, I think it's it's also a good thing that you don't see guys every time, yeah. you know, like having a kind of vacation for yeah. from the guys. I love the guys, of course. Yeah. That's not the thing, but uh, but still, it's 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 good to have. A little distance. Yeah, exactly. I know yeah. what you mean. I really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I play in free bands. I know. Oh, okay. really, but I really know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there any question you would like to um, someone to give you, but no one asked? Uh, not that much. I, I think mostly people are asking about the new album, yeah. and uh, one really common question is how do you mix your crawls and, and clean stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's always fun if 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 we like same band with the guy who is doing interview, so we can like chat about some yeah. band we like. <laughs> that's that's really fun, and that doesn't happen that much. One of the biggest bands ever and the main headliner this festival, Judas Priest. Yeah. What comes to your mind when you hear Judas Priest? Well, that's metal. That's the first thing. And uh, I also respect Rob Halford a lot. He's a great frontman, a great singer, but uh, he also has this uh, beautiful thing called uh, uh, self-irony. Oh, yeah. And that's that's great. He's like, everyone knows him and, and he's great, but, but he can still uh, get a, a joke that offends him a little bit, you know <laughs> what I mean. And I also read a book about him and I, I really respect the guy. 
he's been in the, in the business many years and and, and uh, it's not easy to be uh, a legend and, and trying to do legendary shows every night but he's still doing pretty well and uh, he's, he's, he's great yeah. and I think he still listens metal a lot yeah, and, and exactly. trying to find new bands yeah. and, and that's a great sign also. What are you guys planning for tonight? Are, are you gonna to stay, have some drinks on hotel, or have you need to be somewhere on the road for next show? Man, we have to wake up three o'clock, oh. <laughs> so we have to leave to the airport yeah. uh, three thirty. So I don't know. It, it, we have a show tomorrow in Bulgaria, so wow, yeah. it's it's gonna be a tough one. But uh, yeah. this is uh, really typical for yeah. summer yeah. festival season. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much.